Hey guys, welcome to your second XNA game development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys um, how to work with the uh, IDE, the Visual Studio that we downloaded. And I'm just going to show you how to create a project and like go through the interface and stuff. So go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And uh, by the way, it might ask you for, to like register. Um, and registration is free. Because it'll probably uh, give you a like a pop-up box asking asking you to um, put in a reg registration key. So just uh, go to their website and sign up. It's free, um, and then just, they'll give you a key, and you'll just use that. Um, so when you open up uh, Visual Studio, um, you'll see a few windows here. So basically, each one of these little things is a window. So you'll see uh, there's start page right here. You got Solution Explorer, um, and then down here, there's these are actually tabs right here, and so you got an output one and an error list one. Um, you don't have to know what any of this means right now, but um, I'm just telling you guys that these are basically windows, and uh, you can do different things with them. You can close them and move them around and stuff. So um, uh, what I like to do is just basically kind of get rid of everything and then open up what I need. Um, so there's a start page right here, so you can move it around basically anywhere. So they're basically just windows that you can move around. Um, so just, I like to close everything first, so I'm going to do that. So now it's empty. And um, another thing is these toolbars up here. Um, see where you see this little down arrow? It says add or remove buttons. Basically each one of these is a toolbar. So you can do different things. Here's like a standard one where you can save and stuff. And if you right click in this blank space up here, you'll see the, um, the different toolbars that are being shown. So you have a build one, a debug one, standard one. And so for now, uh, what we're going to do is just unclick the, uh, the build one and the standard one. So now you're just left with this little thing right here. And on yours, I don't, uh, I had to add this thing. It says start with debugging. So, um, what you want to do is uh, go to add or remove buttons and you'll go to customize and see I have, I have this one you guys probably don't have that I'll just delete it um, and then what you want to do is go to add command and what we're gonna go want to do is go to debug oh wait hold on Uh, what we want to do is add or remove buttons. Add new command. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so you go to the the um, go to add command, and then you go to the little debug menu over here and then you'll scroll down to start without debugging and you can just click OK and I'll add that and you'll see why we'll need that later but just go with it for now um, okay so we have a blank screen here and what we want to do is create a new project so I'll show you guys how to do that so you go to file new project and then when you create, you have a bunch of different selections here. We're gonna first. We're gonna start off working with console applications, and I'll just kind of introduce you guys to Visual C Sharp and um, how programming works and stuff. Um, and then later on, we'll work. We'll go to a Windows game project, and that basically has like some starter files for you. Um, so yeah, if you click on console application, then you just give it a name. Just console application one. And you click OK. And I'll create your project here. And then there's a few windows that we're going to want to see. So it starts off with your uh, main file right here. So you see that opened up here. Um, but what we want to do is go to View, and then Other Windows, and then we want to see the Solution Explorer. So basically, whenever you create a like a project, it's actually a solution. And 
it's a solution is basically like a, co a container for your projects kind of like a folder because you can have more than one projects in one solution but um, we're just gonna probably be working with one solution for a while and then maybe we might get in there uh, one project for a while I maybe mean, we might get into two um, so you can see that they give you one file here and this is your uh, main program um, and so we're gonna want to open a couple more windows here so go to view and then we want to see the error list so that'll open they'll probably open down there if not you can just you know move it around I think you can oh yeah if you go to the right here it's probably where we want it um, and then we also want to go to debug windows if you go to debug windows output and this will show us, this will be helpful for debugging and stuff. And uh, I'm going to put it right, right in here. So basically, it will be like little tabs right here. And don't worry about what any of these windows mean right now. It's probably really confusing. But I'm just kind of showing you how, how Visual Studio kind of works with the windows and everything. And the different ones that we need. So we'll basically just need a solution explorer, an error list, and output. And then you'll have your your whatever files open right here in the main space. So if you close that, see how it's blank. And then if you go to Solution Explorer, it's pretty much Solution Explorer is all your files in uh, whatever solution you have open. So if you double click on Program, and then that'll open right here. And so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, so in the next tutorial, uh, we're gonna start uh, learning Visual. Uh, C sharp and we're gonna do our first project and I'll show you guys how to you know get started coding and everything um, so yeah till next time